Today we're going to be looking at how to repressurize a combi boiler. This particular boiler, if it gets below a certain pressure, which is one bar, it'll probably stop working. Not all boilers do this, but quite a lot do this now. So if you actually look down here, you can see a pressure gauge. And that tells you how much pressure is actually in the boiler. This is a close-up of the pressure gauge. You can see that it's nowhere near one bar. The bar is the outside measurement. When it's cold, it needs to be at approximately one bar for the, for the boiler to operate correctly. So what we need to do is top the pressure up to one bar. To top up the pressure on the combi, we use what's called a filling loop. That is the cold water supply pipe that are going to the, the boiler. That is a filling loop. It goes all the way around up there. That is the central heating system. When you open that valve and that valve, it forces water at mains pressure in there and pressurizes this system. There's a double check valve there, which will stop any water from running back. To pressurize the boiler, we need to open these valves on the filling loop. So if we open that one, and then open that one, you'll hear the water go in, you'll see the pressure build up on that pressure gauge. When it reaches one bar, I'm going to close it. Right, we've got one bar of pressure in there now. Now by law, you're not supposed to keep the filling loop connected to the boiler, you're supposed to disconnect it. When you've got the boiler at one bar, you might find that when you bleed the radiators, you're going to let more air into the system, so you're going to have to put a bit more water in to keep the pressure up. So you'll have to go and bleed the radiators, come back and then top the combi up again. When you've done that and it's settled at one bar cold, you can then remove the filling loop. So we're just going to put a container under to collect any water. This is a legal requirement to remove the filling loop once you pressurise the boiler. So we're just going to cap that off there and unscrew that one. And there we go, the both caps off now. That's perfectly safe. That is a legal requirement <clears throat> not to leave that connected once you've topped up your combi.